one know Spanish Harlem are not just pretty words to say I thought I knew But now I know that a rose tree Until you've seen this trash can dream come true You stand at the edge while people run you through And I thank the Lord there's people out there like you I thank the Lord there's people out there like you While Mona Lisa's and Mad Hatter's Sons of bankers, sons of lawyers Turn around and say good morning to the night For unless they see the sky But they can't and that is why They know not if it's dark outside or light This Broadway's guy It's got a lot of songs to sing If I knew the tunes I might join in I'd go my way alone Grow my own, my own seeds shall be sown In New York City Subway's no way for a good man to go down Rich man can ride and the hobo he can drown And I thank the Lord for the people I have found I thank the Lord for the people I have found While Mona Lisa's and Mad Hatter's Sons of bankers, sons of lawyers Turn around and say good morning to the night For unless they see the sky But they can't and that is why They know not if it's dark outside or light Now I know Spanish Harlem are not just pretty words to say I thought I knew But now I know that rose trees never grow in New York City Subway's no way for a good man to go down Rich man can ride and a hobo he can drown And I thank the Lord for the people I have found I thank the Lord for the people I have found While Mona Lisa's and Mad Hatter's Sons of bankers, sons of lawyers Turn around and say good morning to the night For unless they see the sky But they can't and that is why They know not if it's dark outside or light They know not if it's dark outside or light Hey guys, this is Howard with Mona Lisa's and Mad Hatter's from Elton John, of course. 
and this is a really beautiful song. It's obviously a piano tune, and so it just has these rolling arpeggios through all these chords. So I'm not really trying to copy the piano part, but I'm trying to capture a bit of that uh, mood. So there's going to be a lot of cross-picking in this one. There's about 14 chords, I think, in all, 14 shapes at least, and uh, a lot of cross-picking. So I'll take you through each of the chords and show you how I've played it, okay? So the song doesn't have an intro, it just jumps right into the verse. So I'll take you right through that. We've got a standard C chord shape, and I'm playing down, 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 up, from the A string down to the B string. And then using those same four strings, we're forming the F chord, which you can see on the screen. And then back to the C, so we have Now that last little bit I played was down, 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 up, up, up. And once again, we're using those inside four strings. We're not using the first or the sixth string yet. And then the next chord up is an E7. And uh, I play that with four down strokes and four up strokes, engaging all six strings. So swing from the sixth string all the way to the G. First E all the way back to the D string, okay? So we have very nice indeed. And then we move to an A minor and we've got some solid movement here. So the A minor chord is once again from the A string down to the B string, down, 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 up. And then we swing up with the ring finger and we catch the third fret on the sixth string. That is essentially an A minor seventh chord with a G in the bass. Same picking pattern except we're swinging from the uh, top string, skipping the next string, and then playing four. But you can see it's still down, 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 up. So we have cross picking practice to get your pick going in the direction that you need it to go in. And then we land on a full F chord, all six strings, a bar chord of course. And this has a very specific cross picking pattern which I've demonstrated in some of my instructional videos. So I'll take you right through that. Starting from the top string, the sixth string, three down strokes, swing all the way down to the first string, and that's an upstroke. Then swing back to the G string for a downstroke, B string for an upstroke. Then swing up to the D string, downstroke, and then G string again with an upstroke. That's a very useful cross picking pattern. Very nice sounding, but of course we don't play it that fast for this tune. So we've got A minor to the A minor 7 with the G in the bass to the F with that longer cross picking pattern. And then we have what is essentially a C with an E in the bass. We're going to use the same cross picking pattern, but we're skipping the A string. And then we land on a D minor 7th bar chord, okay? And uh, the first cross-picking pattern from this is exactly the same as that. So I'm starting from the A string with three down strokes. Then the B string with an up stroke. Come back to the D string with a down stroke. G string with an up stroke. A string with a down stroke and then the D string with an upstroke. So you're doing the same cross-picking pattern, but just with fewer strings, four strings. And then it's down four, and then up four. Kind of 
pianistic sounding in a way, right? And from there, it's back to the C chord, and we're going to repeat all of that. Now you can see on the second time through when I hit that last chord, that D minor 7th, I chose the 4 down and 4 up picking pattern, which you play twice. I think it just leads nicely into the next set of chords, and uh, some dynamics are a good call here. Maybe start off a little bit lighter, and uh, build up uh, with intensity <laughs> a little bit. And then we find our way back to the F chord, and we're using that same cross picking pattern again. Down, 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 up, down, up, down, up. And then we once again find our way to the uh, C chord with the E in the bass. And this is the same cross picking pattern again. We've played this before and uh, you're just skipping a string, skipping the A string. So we have. And then we move to a D minor seventh, but this time being played in this position. Now that's the same cross picking pattern again, but once again, you're only using four strings. So I'm starting with the D string. Down, 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 up, down, up, down, up. E string, G string, B string, D string, and G string. So we have. And a C chord and I'm once again engaging with one two three four one two three four starting with the A string and then up strokes starting from the E string so that whole movement happens like this we do it again We use the D minor 7th chord again, but uh, there's a G in the bass. So we're using the exact same cross picking pattern. Down, 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 up, down, up, down, up. Then to the C chord. Four downs. And you do the sequence again, but this time around also with the D minor 7th with the G in the bass. Then on the final one, the fourth one, it's back to that D minor seventh with the four downs. So that section right there, the whole section is played like this. very Elton John indeed. So after we've played the D minor 7th, so what I'm doing is I'm simply placing my ring finger on the 3rd fret on the 6th string and uh, it's a little bit or a little piece of that cross picking pattern we've been using so much. You want to skip a string So once again, I'm skipping the A string, but I went down, down, down. B string upstroke, D string downstroke, G string upstroke. And then I'm laying my first finger down on the first fret on the B string, 
and my second finger down on the third fret on the G string and I'm just using the D string, the G string and the B string. And that's technically a G sus add nine. <laughs> and then you let those two fingers off and resolve it. So that whole pattern is those three notes at the end to kind of lead into the chorus, which is just the open D string, G string, and B string, down, down, up. So that's quite a finger full on the chorus there, so let's go through it bit by bit. And then we once again find our way back to the C chord, and I'm using the same cross picking pattern played twice, except the first time I'm employing the A string all the way down to the E string, and then the second time the A string just down to the B string, just to give it a little variety. You can see I went back to the F chord and that's the exact same cross picking pattern we've been using on it all along. Then it's to the E7, played exactly as we did out the gate, four down, four up. And then we're once again back at the A minor chord and we're doing the movement that he did before but very quickly, down, 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 up for the A minor, then the A minor seventh with the G in the bass again, down, 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 up. And then it's an F chord. You can form the full F chord if you want to, but you'll hit the sixth string, skip a string. So when I play it, I actually just play it like that, but it doesn't matter. Either way is fine. That is once again the C with the E in the bass. And then we find ourselves on a D major chord, and I'm playing three down strokes, three up strokes. Then for the D suspended fourth, add your pinky to the third fret on the uh, first E string, and then take it off. And once again, I play those three D, G, and B strings off of the chord because I think it leads nicely into the next chord. That is the whole song. So after the D chord, there's that little turnaround. You go back to the F, do the full cross picking pattern, down, 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 up, down, up, down, up. Uh, mock G chord if you want, like I did before, just placing your ring finger on the third fret on the sixth string. Skip a string. But same cross picking pattern, down, 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 up, down, up, down, up. Back to the F chord, play four down strokes, and then off of the E string, first fret, open, third fret on the B string, and you land a C chord, and that brings you right back to the beginning of the song again. And you repeat everything. The only thing different is that at the very end of the song, you play that turnaround twice. And end it on a C chord. So there you go with Mona Lisa's and Mad Hatter's from uh, classic Elton John. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. Uh, it's a great one for cross-picking for endurance uh, for everything, right? So anyway, we'll see you guys soon and uh, all the best.